What's up, Zero Players? It's your homie C-Rod, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get rich playing Dragon Ball Super Card Game. I'm talking $100,000, $500,000 just for playing the card game. The way you do it is by pretty much winning a lot in the game and developing your skills and getting better and I'm gonna show you how you could do it as well because I got some of the best tips from some of the best players in the card game I luckily had the blessing to be able to interview the first second and third place winner of the national championship and these guys are the best in the nation and they gave me some tips and they got themselves the first second and third place prizing which are some cool awesome looking gold plated cards these gold plated cards are going for a lot of money right now that third place gold plated vegeta card is going for around seventy five thousand dollars that right there is a good payday if you manage to get to the top now imagine second and first place prizing how much would you pay for that if obviously you were one of the few people in the world the one percent that could afford paying a hundred thousand dollars for a gold plated card but there are those people out there and a lot of those people love dragon ball because dragon ball is such a awesome show why wouldn't you want to drop a hundred thousand dollars if you're balling like that so Dragon Ball Super Card Game has some pretty amazing prizing. I'm, I'm talking like $100,000 if you make it all the way to the top in the national tournament and you win the event pretty much. So shout out to first, second, and third place winner because they got themselves the gold plated cards and they're sitting on a pretty good amount of money. Now, top 16 doesn't necessarily mean you end up losing everything if you're one of the best players top 16 players in the national event you still get some pretty darn good prizing you still end up getting around $25,000 worth of value if you manage to be one of the 16 best players in the nation so you can become very successful playing this card game the prizing in Dragon Ball Super card game is pretty fair and I think if you grind it out and you grind it out and you play test play test play test you grow your Dragon Ball Super card game skills to the fullest and the maximum potential you can be and you train like Vegeta and you don't stop you can make it to the top and you can get rich very rich even look at the national prizing from a while back ago the national prizing is looking to be sold for around five hundred thousand dollars Wow, that is a lot of money. That's half a million dollars if you get all three in a collector bundle. If you have the money to drop that, go for it. But that is the value that these cards are going for at the moment. So you could get very, 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 very rich if you put in work. There's going to be multiple nationals coming around in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. So if this video sparks a little light on in your head, Make sure to smash the like and make sure to also follow us on Whatnot, which is a platform where Super Players, Tony G and I, auction some of our collectible cards and you guys could go ahead and bid and win yourself some cool giveaways because we've also gave away like 50 cent booster packs to the community there. And you also get 10 free dollars if you click on the link below. So go ahead and click on the link below. Now, let me tell you how you could get so darn good at this game that you eventually could potentially make it to the top tables at your regionals and then get an invitation to nationals and then take it and win the whole shebang so like i said i had the blessing to commentate nationals and because of this commentary i luckily got to interview live first second and third place of the national winners the ones that won the gold plated cards that are worth over seventy five thousand each they told me these three things number one was if you want to get to their level which is first second and third place level you have to play test a lot all three of them said that you have to play test a lot meaning you have to play against multiple different decks know what your deck does know how to beat the meta decks 
meta is another fancy way of saying beat the most prominent, most relevant, strongest decks at the moment. So you have to know how to play test against those and just practice. That was one tip that they all said that made them so darn good to the point where they ended up being first, second, and third place. The next one, shout out to Jordan, because he told me a very unique one that I never did, which was talk about the cards. Talk about the cards, talk about what you lose to, and pretty much just have a conversation about the different decks. Not necessarily play the cards, but more like learn about other cards, how the cards function with each other, what type of decks beat each other, what type of cards counter each other, and just have a conversation with a group. That is so darn mind-blowing because I never thought about just talking about the cards, and if you're watching this video, this is pretty much a conversation, so you're getting a little better with just knowledge. So there you have it. That's the second way you could get really good that all the winners of the Nationals were telling me. And number three is build a team. Have a team of friends that are hopefully good. You want to build a team that are really good players. If you want to build a community, if you don't have anybody around you that unfortunately can't come next to you to play the actual cards, Click on the link below, the Facebook group for the Dragon Ball Super Card Game community is there and the national champions are usually always interacting in the community page of Dragon Ball Super Card Game Facebook group. Maybe you could message a couple people there, start developing a nice little team and talk to them and play tests with them through webcams, online, try to meet up and eventually you'll have a nice group of people that are willing to grind it out and play Dragon Ball Super Card Game and grow each other's abilities so that when you go to your regional, you take the best deck, you play against the best decks, you beat everybody, and you get your invitation to nationals, then you go to nationals, you beat all the best players around the world, and you win yourself that grand Shazam gold-plated cards that are worth over $100,000. So that's the awesome part about Dragon Ball Super Card Game. All you have to do is just play the cards. And if you get so darn good, you'll get some awesome prizing. And even if you're top 16, you still leave with a healthy wallet because of the fact that the prizing, especially if you don't even make it to the top, top 16 still got some pretty cool uh, gold, I mean gold plated cards with the finalist stamp. And you'll also get yourself a metallic Gogeta card that's worth a lot so definitely go and even if you don't make it to the top 16 players in the world you get your skills better because you got an ultimate Zenkai boost playing the best players at nationals and you still get a nice fat stack of exclusive national cards you can only get by participating at nationals so if you want to try to become rich playing Dragon Ball Super Card Game it's possible guys which is insane because this game is relatively new it's only a roughly around four and a half years old moving on to its fifth year of being alive and the pricing is ridiculous it's insane it makes me want to not commentate and just focus on playing the cards and growing my skills because the pricing is insane very very sick so hopefully you found this video informative if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you are new here follow us on whatnot we give you 10 free dollars if you just sign up and we usually do a bunch of giveaways and have one dollar booster packs and we just like to share to the community so click on the link below follow the community page to build your dragon ball super card game army up get the gains get the skills up and you perhaps can make over a hundred thousand dollars just playing dragon ball super card game and have a blast stay super peace out people all right thank you guys for watching and this is for the winner of the mystic booster here we go let's see who is the winner and we got emilio ramos awesome pulls unfortunately i forgot to pre-order the box well we are gonna send you your box make sure to hit us up emilio ramos and we'll verify your account
And like we always say, y'all stay super.